Welcome to Sir Eric Woodward School, home to the Distance Education Support Unit. Sir Eric Woodward School has 79 students, 48 of those taught via distance education. Based in sunny St Ives on Sydney's Upper North Shore, the Distance Education Support Unit has 11 teachers and caters for students with an intellectual disability who are placed at the school via a statewide panel. Students are located all across New South Wales, from Byron Bay in the north to Daniloquin on the New South Wales Victorian border. We also have a large number of students located in the metropolitan Sydney area. Classes contain students from K to 12, with teachers delivering all subjects and KLAs in individualised programmes. Learning resources are sent out in set bags via Australia Post. Here I come. Set bags contain ridden and sensory equipment which is returned to school at the end of the five week set. Okay. Hi, I'm so happy. Oh, thanks, great. I'm taking that one. Oh, wow. I'm taking that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the school's focus on assessment and community links have led to innovative practices over the past 18 months to improve the individualised programmes our students receive. Students study at their own level in K-6 and study the life skills subjects in years 7 to 12. Learning is both differentiated and personalised, but also different. Building functional communication skills developing living skills and preparing students for their post-school life. Learning programmes are flexible and responsive to the individual needs of students. Learning objectives can be as diverse as making a choice of one object to learning how to operate a small business. <laughs> yeah, good work! Here, a student is practising their use of eye gaze technology. This can be used to communicate needs and wants, demonstrate comprehension of a text, or indeed play games. <laughs> Programs require strong collaboration between teachers, parents, therapists, and support nice and workers. Slow. Slow your eyes down. Teachers work in partnership with TAFE so that students can complete their TVET courses, such as Toby, who is studying horticulture. Community access is encouraged to practice living and transition skills. A major innovation is the use of the learning journal app, Seesaw. This app allows us a window into our students' homes, cutting the assessment window from weeks to minutes. The app's functionality allows students' independence to complete activities crafted by our teachers or to share their work via photos, film clips and voice annotations. Student ownership has increased as students previously switched off from pen and paper activities re-engage in their learning. Evidence of student progress is recorded in their individual programme, viewed via QR code links. The gift of Zoom has allowed students to dial in and connect with the school and each other. Students enjoy the weekly social club. They can now join in with whole school programmes, such as our Indigenous programme, being part of special events such as smoking ceremonies. 2020 saw the birth of our school band, the Beat Streets, who online, together, created their first single, inspired by Stop! the Musical. Distance education students have always participated in the Richard Kiziak Art Competition, but now, thanks to Presentation Day being broadcast, students get to see the gallery of wondrous works produced by our students.
So my son Mustafa is with uh, Distance Education. He's been with them for the last 18 months. In the last 18 months, he's learned how to count his numbers uh, up to 20. He's bettered his communication skills. We absolutely love getting the boo bag, and um, that's something that we're all excited for. And um, uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 done wonders for us. Our teachers have led several projects, creating resources that have been shared statewide. We use our hands so much, and they are such a way of transporting different germs around that we really need to keep them as clean as possible. The only way that we can do this is through washing them with soap and water. Of course, if you don't have soap and water around, always use the liquid hand sanitizer. That's just as good. The Rural Remote Filming Project aims to deliver age-appropriate functional living skills films. Hi, do you like boiled eggs? Today, we're gonna to learn how to boil an egg. Teachers are being empowered to become film creators as we bring learning to life in these easy to follow films and deliver teaching strategies to supervisors in the home. These films are shared in the special ed team. This collegial network of 850 members connects teachers across New South Wales to each other and the wealth of resources created by our distance education centres. This project was funded by the 2020 Rural and Remote Initiative Fund and was supersized in the light of learning from home. Our teachers play an important role supporting key initiatives such as the DE Symposium and the DE Special Ed Network. But we still find time to also be innovative in our fun. <laughs>